What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Listener Don't Podcast. Got to hear those. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Why do they have Kim Kardashian in this? Do you hate Kim K? No, I just don't understand why they used her for this ad. They could have used anybody. But I guess, I mean... It's a pretty cool commercial. I mean, so I like how they tied it in. I'd watch this. Put that on everything. I put that on everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kim Kardashian is so funny. Yeah. She should be president. All right. You know what's funny about that? This necessarily the whole Super Bowl thing, but like that whole thing with Usher with the confessions thing. Like, I mean, I. In what world, like, is somebody, I I don't know, like, who called him, but, like, somebody's like, yo, I heard you got a kid, and then he's like, wait, hold, like, he stops the whole, like, recording session and everything like that, like, it's just like, I don't know. Are you saying the Confessions music video is unrealistic? I'm not saying it's unrealistic, I just don't understand, like, why it, like, which, I mean, I guess if he found out you had a kid and you didn't know, that would be crazy, but, like... The way he just like, wait, put that on everything. Like, bro, like, <laughs> it's yours, bro. Wild thing in my fat confessions video. What's the, okay, so what's yeah, the most could, wild thing? Ah, bro, we could see and that's there. not, that's not yeah. the video. I'm not talking about the video itself. That's just the intro to the video. I'm just talking about the intro part where he's in the studio. The rest of the video where he's like. The video is uh, wild, bro. Like, he, I'm riding in my wheel. Like, bro, come on. Like. I don't like how he's racing to your girlfriend's house to let to let her know before it hits the news. Hey, I just wanted to give you a heads up. (laughs) Got a baby on the way in case you hear it out here. That's fucking nuts. (laughs) That's kind of nuts, bro. Am I hating if I don't want to see Usher with his shirt off? Who's that? Well, he's definitely going to have a shirt off. I mean, I'm talking about like in the confessions video. Just I I understand. He had a shirt off in there. Hmm. I thought he just had a tank top. So unnecessary. Well, I mean, he's an R&B singer and sex sells, so. Sex sells, but it shouldn't, Taylor. That's the thing about sex. I mean, it is what it is. See, maybe for your people and your. My people? You know. My, who is my, who are my people, Steven? Walk into this, Taylor. (laughs) No, you don't, no, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm not white, bro. I shoot you some bell. I don't know why you keep doing, I am not white. If I'm white, you're white. You might be a little whiter than me. So, you think I'm than you? yeah. Name. What do you think? What's your whitest thing? Well, what I'm not nothing. White? Nothing. I can't. I can't even give you what anything. Makes me white. What See, does nothing. it make you white? <laughs> okay. Same could be said about me. Shit. All right, Captain. What does that have to do with anything? Wouldn't you like to know? You just don't have anything. That's why, yeah, you... Taylor. What? What? I, I, I always feel like you're trying to like get me or something. You're always trying to get me. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Confessions part one. This is actually my favorite one. I prefer this over Confessions part two. I think I do too. But yeah. I mean, both of them are great, but I prefer, I there, definitely, there's no video for part one. It's two? just part two. Okay, then I'm definitely just thinking of Part two was the smash hit. Part one was just on the album. No, no, I think I like part two more. I mean, it was the smash hit. That's, that's fair. I just personally like part one better. Is Confessions Part Two one of the girl could play like that? <laughs> I like how you turn the music down that way they couldn't hear. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just want Confessions to be playing in the background of every podcast. Right? Is Confessions Part Two one of the greatest R and B songs of all time? For sure. Uh, okay, I, I'll give you that. I think Rolling Stone did one. It was the number one. I can see that. I, I mean, that's fair. I don't know what else is oh! on the list. Oh! oh! It's hand in hand in the Beverly Center like, man, not giving a damn who sees me. So mm-hmm. gone. Mm-hmm. Acting like I didn't have you sitting at home. Yeah, this is a fucking... Is Usher the king of R&B? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know who else would take it. Chris Brown. I don't know, because, not because he does, well, 
I would argue that Chris Brown doesn't make much R and B music anymore. Does SZA make R and B still? SZA? Does that count as R and B? Yeah, I mean, I, I think so. Pop influenced. Same thing. With, same thing. Chris Brown though, pop influenced. If we're talking pure, and Usher has made pop music too. That's not what I'm saying, but more like if we're talking about R and B hits, Usher. Uh, sure. What about Summer Walker? Would we call her pure R and B? The what of R and B? Summer Walker. Would she be pure R and B? I think so. I, nothing about Summer Walker is pop to me. She's all R and B, so I can see that. Yeah. What about Drake? Nigga is a pop star. You think Drake's a pop star? One hundred percent. The pop genre and pop popular. Like he's just a do pop you, star. Do you think he makes pop music? I think his music is pop influenced. Yeah. So you don't think Drake can get? You don't think Drake can get nitty gritty? Like I didn't say that. Popular? I didn't say that. That's not the question you asked me. Would he be a top five hip hopper? In today's age, yeah. All time. Uh, I mean, what is, uh, and what's the criteria? Being Drake? No, I, like, if we had actual criteria, then we could probably debate it. But, I mean, um, yeah. You don't think he has fire lyrics? Who? Drake? Yeah. Come on, it's Drake. Like, this isn't even a fucking question. I don't know what to do, but also, 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 right, right. She this confession video. To to I understand what they're doing, but why the fuck is this piano on the floor? I have no idea. <laughs> you understand it's supposed to like double as a bed, like he's dancing on the bed. Or why, whatever. bro? They were laying on the piano. <laughs> 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 this is the part I was talking about. Yeah, open up the door, dear. Damn, is this is this the girl who's pregnant or the girl he's mad at? No, this is girlfriend. He okay, cheated. Okay, okay. The idea, but you know, a funny story behind this song because you know, Jermaine Dupri. This was actually about Jermaine Dupri's life. This has nothing. Usher. Everybody thought okay. Usher cheated on. Like, no, Jermaine Dupri wrote this song about what he had going on. It had nothing to do with Usher. He just sang the song. Shout out Jermaine Dupri. Oh, Can you, you were right. I forgot about this part. Obviously. There's yeah. really no reason for him to take his shirt off now that I think about I mean, it. I mean, to walk to the camera slow like this, little hand shot. This is what's turning our kids gay. I don't think anybody has ever said the Confessions <laughs> Part 2 video has turned somebody gay. Yeah, speaking of gay, have you seen the new Lil Nas X? I haven't. Really? mm I just think the whole, like, and it's not even about him in particular. It's Doja Cat, like, anybody who does, like, I, I just feel like the whole... Jesus and devil thing is played out like for sure. I love my my devil music though. This one just isn't. That I mean, I'm not cool. Song. Like when he did the um, Montero. When, yeah, when, when he did Montero, like I like the album Montero. If he would have did, if he would have dropped the album without the antics, it. I, I mean, I don't know what it would have did. I I can't tell the future, but I think he would have been fine. But with these ants, like he makes good Lil Nas X, whether you like him or not, in my opinion, he makes good enough music where he doesn't have to do all this antic shit. Have you heard his uh, song with NBA Youngboy Fuck B E T? I have heard it. That song is so fucking good. You seen the video? Is is that the one where they were like fake driving in the? Yeah, I, I see. I seen some clips. Yeah, that song is so gas. And this one, this this his new song, J Christ. Like it almost has that, but it's just it's just not a good song. Like Montero had like a fun theme to it. This mm-hmm. one just seems like words being <coughs> said to me. I mean, I'm interested because I'm 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 guessing he's gonna drop an album. So I'm interested to see what else is on the album. Because like I said, he does make good music, but I mean, like I like I said, this whole. Jesus Christ, the devil shit. Like, it's played out. Like, just drop the music, man. I'm just, I'm kind of over it. Same thing. That's why, I, that's how I felt with Doja. All right. That's how I felt with, like, Doja Cat and shit like that. The album was, was pretty good. I, I saved a few songs off the album. The Agora Hills song was good. Song. Could have did without the devil shit. I just could have did. The Agora Hills again? The, uh. No, sing it. No, I'm not going to sing it. Bitch, I said what I said. That's Paint the Town Red. I, uh, uh, that was on the album too, but no Agora Hills. Let's send it to a savage.
Yeah, yeah. I was sorry, dance like a bad bitch. No, oh, wow. You see my arm go up, Taylor? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking saw it. No, so that song was cool, and so she's really got a few that. others yeah. on there that are pretty good, but that stuff's just played out. Like, just drop the music at this point. Have you seen, you listen to the new Tool on Savage album? I haven't. Did you yeah, see the short, was that a short, was that like a long a form short, music video, or was yeah, it a short bro. film? It's a long form music video, and it was really fucking good. Bro, Childish Gambino playing, tw- well, how was it? It was good? Yeah, it was really funny. It's funny. It, it wasn't even funny, it was just like good song, good video, good like, good fake promo. Mm. I'll probably check it out. I like 21 Savage. I just haven't gotten around to it. I think 21 Savage is one of the most improved rappers. 21 Savage and Lil Yachty, mm. two of the most improved rappers. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that for Lil sure. Lil Yachty's music is so fucking good. I've, I'll, I've always been a Lil Yachty fan, mm-hmm. but it was sometimes to be a lot of like sifting through trash. Lil Yachty's been so fucking consistent lately. He has not put out a bad song since he dropped that album. Mm. Like, and he drops a new song every like other week. I'm pretty sure that's what he's been trying to do: is drop a song every other week. Fucking fire! His song "Strike." Have you heard that song? Mm. I've been striking. I've been feening. I'm as high as fuck. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I've heard, heard that song. Shit. Yeah, that song's fire. I've heard that song. Yeah. I'm waiting on Playboy Cardi to drop. Playboy Cardi's been dropping a song every week. I've never been week. into Playboy Cardi. Really? I love nonsense music like that. <laughs> nonsense music. I wouldn't even call it nonsense. Like niggas really be spitting. You just gotta like listen to it. This could be the, the this could be our list. Two thousand R and B playlist to get in your feels. First up, Let Me Love You by Mario. Top R and B songs of all time, maybe? Let Me Love You is a skip. What? Yeah, I skip that one when it comes on. Yeah, okay. If we're being unbiased, though, if we're talking in terms of what it did when it came out, it was a pretty popular song. It was a pretty popular song, but, like, I don't think I was alive. Steven, you were definitely alive, bro. It um, came out, like, what, 2004 or some shit? It was where it's 373. I'm from the future. All right, anyways, bro. Let me lo- I personally think Let Me Love You by Mario, top R&B songs of all time. You a dime plus ninety nine, come on, you classic know, line. Nobody know. knew what the fuck it meant, but classic line. You know what I'm ashamed to admit? What? I've never heard a TLC album. There's like a lot of like, like a album, but you've heard songs. Yeah, like Red Light Special. I think that's fine. I feel like a lot of people our age probably have that same experience. I've never listened to a TLC <laughs> album fully through, but I know some of their songs. But I should because Red Light Special is such a good song. You know that song? Mm-hmm. <laughs> My favorite TLC song. Oh, she says, All right. Well, <laughs> all right. The fact that you. <laughs> I have the, the sexuality. Of the That's song. not what I was going to say. I was about to say. <laughs> I just sold I didn't ex- Can't put that on TikTok. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> you know, the guy that sells sex, no. bro? You know, it is. sex? No. Um, speaking of TLC, though, one of my favorite TLC songs isn't, like, one of their more popular songs. It's a song called Kick Your Game. It wasn't a single. It wasn't popular, but I like it. I like their um, the All That theme song. Yeah, that. that was, I mean, but that was just a theme song. I don't know that it was. Okay. Fuck off! <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> and then That's like two minutes. What the all that theme song? Yeah, two minutes is a long time from what I've heard. Ladies, fresh out the box. Stop. Look and watch. Ready yet? Get set. It's all that. <laughs> yeah, come on now. This is a sing along episode. Now, this, this is, is just an introduction. We're going to blow your mind. This show is all of that. And yes, we do it all the time. So sit your booty on the floor right. in a chair. Yes, rounds are in the air. Just don't go nowhere. Because everything we do, it's all of that. We entertaining you. We all of that. 
my posse and my crew. We all with that. So sit still, cause we're coming right back. Yeah, this is listen or don't the musical. <laughs> right. <laughs> all that theme song, top R and B songs of all time. No. All the R and B groups used to do the theme songs. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think is the top like theme song of all time? Of all time. I'm going like I'm throwing... Full House. Yeah, I'm going seventy show. That seventy show? Yeah. Hey and now. I mean, I I like that seventy show, but I don't know if I'd say it's one of the top theme songs really? of all time. It's just so iconic. But I say Full House. Family Guy. Family Guy. Oh, uh, is SpongeBob is SpongeBob a sitcom? Mm, nah, but it's a TV show. Um, you said American Dad. Okay, that's so Raven. That's so yeah. Okay. Um, Family Matters maybe. I can't think. Of that. I don't know the Family. Matters. Yeah, I don't know iconic theme songs. Everywhere you look. Everywhere, Everywhere. Yeah. there's a heart. That, <laughs> that, 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 full, uh, house. full house, full house. Yeah. yeah, never really liked Full House. What? Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh. Full House fan. I used life. to watch Full House every morning before what I went to did? school. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, no, I liked Full House. Um, what's another one? Uh, Fresh Prince theme song. Fresh Prince, out of all the ones we said, might be number one. Probably. Martin? No? Iconic theme songs? Yeah, I've been seeing my bad. I mean, about that whole... Mm, thing yeah, you did. Face. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that narrative that's been going along lately that Martin wasn't a good show? Like, wasn't funny? Who said that? Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people, like, diss Martin. That was crazy. Martin wasn't funny... Yeah, well, I know a lot of people like to do the debate. They do, um, they do Martin versus Fresh Prince, and a lot of people say that Martin was funnier, but Fresh Prince was the better television show. Why did they do Martin versus Fresh Prince? Because I mean, they're both '90s black shows, really? two black comedians, and Martin and Will work together a lot. So I mean, okay, did Will Smith do stand up? He's never that, that, he's never done stand up. Will Smith's never done. I feel like Will Smith he's not that type of comedian. He's just a comedic actor, really. If we're being yeah. Would you watch a Will Smith stand up? I would. Just yeah. to see what it's on. You know that um scene with uh Will Smith and he's like his dad doesn't show up. Why don't nobody love me? Yo, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Why he don't want me, man. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you remember the Thea Foundation? Like the in high school, right? Yeah. There's a theater scholarship from the Theater Foundation. Trey got it. Mm-hmm. And they pay, like, for you to go to school. Mm-hmm. So for the audition, I remember fucking being there and never seeing all these people. And, like, damn, bro. Shit, nigga definitely knew he was going to get washed. There's that one, one guy. There's that one dude with blonde hair, bro. He went to North Little Rock. What, what did he do? Anyway, I think he won it. But I remember I did that Will Smith scene for that. Really? <laughs> not to me, bro. Did you have somebody else like in the, like do it with you? Because that's not like that's not a monologue scene. He it was like dialogue. Not really. It wasn't not really that much dialogue. So what did you do then? Because I'm trying. To, I'm thinking back to the scene. You just like. You just, I know. Like, I know. You did the part where he was like, like going through like all the shit that he did without him and everything. Uh huh. And then you got to the part. Whoa! Did you do the? How did you do the? To hell with him part. How did you do that, yo? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the scholarship. I, well, I mean, that's okay, but how did you do I just want to know how you did. So, I just want to know how you did, like, how you yelled to hell with him. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me pull it up. <laughs> let me pull up the script for it. Oh, my God. Uh, Fresh Prince Dad monologue. The name of the episode is going to be Why He Don't Want Me, Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, my God.
God damn, bro. Fuck off with that AI generated shit. I guess so. WordPress. Ah, yeah, you yeah, want yeah. you want me to be Philip? I yeah, got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll be Uncle Phil. All, all right, right. All right. You ready? <laughs> all right. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Will. You know, actually, this works this works out better for me, you know. The slimies of summer come to class wearing next to nothing, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's all right to be angry. Hey, why should I be mad? At least you said goodbye this time. I just Wish I hadn't wasted my money buying this stupid present. Pulls out a small African statue from his bag. Puts it on the table. <laughs> it's a father <laughs> sitting with a son on his lap. <laughs> Fuck. All right, okay. All right. Uh, I'm sorry if if there was something I could do. You ain't got to do nothing, Uncle Phil. You know, ain't like I'm still five years old, you know. Ain't like I'm gonna be sitting up every night asking my mom when daddy's coming home you know who needs him hey he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket but i learned it didn't i yeah and i got pretty damn good at it too didn't I, uncle phil yeah you did got through got through my first day without him right learn how to drive learn how to shave i don't how to fight without him i had 14 great birthdays without him he never even sent me a damn card I don't know about let, me, let, me take, let me take that line again, please. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Got to my first day without him, right? Learn how to drive. I learned how to shave. I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. To hell with him! <laughs> I didn't need him then, and I don't need him now. Well... Will. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm going to get through college without him. I'm going to get a great job without him. I'm going to marry me a beautiful honey. I'm going to have me a whole bunch of kids. I'll be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that because there ain't a damn thing he can ever teach me about how to love my kids. How come you don't want me, man? <laughs> Yo. Oh, my god! I did not get that scholarship. So, <laughs> <laughs> what made you pick this? You were just like, damn, this would be cool to do? Or you didn't want to do, like, anything from a play, any monologue from man, a play? I was in that. That was, like, that period of finding something. No, and just like improv, mm. but like I just kind of knew this one, so it was like, I saw this one guy do it one time. So that was at really least you went in there and tried. That's what important. you know. So. I definitely should have put a little bit more effort behind it. <laughs> but yeah, um, real actor. How, how would you have said it? How, how come you don't want me? To hell with him. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew I got washed whenever I saw one of the homies, Peyton Hooks. Bro was, uh, he had a chair with his, he needed a chair for his performance. And I saw how he was using that chair. And I was like, oh yeah, bro, I'm cooked. I remember Peyton Hooks. He went to Parkview. Yeah, it was a cool deal. I was at the radio with him. Mm. Shout the fucking acting. Yeah. You actors out there. Did shout out to the game. I was never really in the game. I mean, I like, well, I have a love hate relationship with acting. I can't enjoy it. I can't enjoy it when I'm in the moment. I'm always stressed out. I don't enjoy it until it's over. And not because it's over, because like I can look back and be like, oh, well, I did a pretty good job there. But like, I nothing about it in the moment is enjoyable for me. Like when I did Detroit 67. Aww. The doing the shows was fun, but like rehearsals, Larry had like you know, I love Larry to death, but he definitely like <laughs> is very like, what's the word? 
stern, I guess would be the word, and how he like directs. Mm -hmm. Like he likes shit like you know his way and everything like that, which is fine. Every director is different, but um, I I can't enjoy anything in the moment. I'm stressed out. What's my blocking here, here, here? Like I'm I can't like it's not until the show's over that I'm like. It makes you feel any better not to meet Ryan or anything. I've not seen you in a bad do a bad job in the show. I've seen you like be the best part of the show in every show. Not to gas you or anything, just like in a subtle observation. Damn, I've only done a few shows. I mean, I I've seen I think three shows with you in it and you're probably you seem very natural in the roles that you are put in. Well, I appreciate that. But still, I don't know that it's enjoyable. I might. I mean, I always tell people like, and I mean, well, my job is hard now because I'm always at work. But I always tell people like, if you like want me to do something real quick, real quick. But if you want me to do something, I'll do it. But I mean, it is what it is. Like, could you commit to three rehearsals a week? Three rehearsals a week, probably not. Depend. Well, if they were like on my off days during the day, I probably could do it. But you know. But I've been thinking, like, I want to do, like, get back into writing. That's, like, what I really want to get back into. And last year I wanted to do some, like, stuff for Black History Month. But I never got around to it. But, fuck, Black History Month's coming up. It's yeah, right. we should collab on a black play. Well, it's not, like, going to be a play, though. It's going to be, like, something that's filmed. Yeah. And I wanted to do some type of, like, poetry. Yeah. What's wrong with film, bro? I mean, just like your, we're still doing we're still doing theater stuff. It's just on film. You just you just want to kill what's left of the theater, bro. Just recording myself doing poetry and monologue is not killing theater. Actually, I think it's kind of helping it. Like I don't know. Anyways, that's my plan. I want to do some like I want to do some like connectivity type shit f for like Black History Month. But I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll come up with something. I'm creative enough, I guess. So you know what we should do? What? We should, at the beginning of every episode, start reading a script like this. Like <laughs> <a> script. <laughs> like that would be so crazy. I wonder what else do they have. So Fresh Prince theme song, definitely top theme songs of all time. I, I'd give it to it. I, I'd give it to Fresh Prince and maybe Family Guy. Okay, yeah. Did you ever watch um did you ever watch I the Jamie Foxx no, the Jamie Foxx show? Mm, yeah, I couldn't think of the theme song. Well, it, it had like two different theme songs, so but um that was Jamie Foxx. Like I I think Jamie Foxx is really funny. I know. You see How do we get on iCarly? And you so wonderful. Do 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 live life. Breathe air. I know somehow we're gonna get there. You, you had it. Tell you just how I feel. So wake up the rooms of my nation. I don't know. Take, and then you got fucking iCarly. Are you ready? That's uh, Zoe 101, bro. Yeah, did I say iCarly again? Oh. <laughs> uh. No, I know you uh, see me standing here. Yeah. Do I, I look good, good my dear? Day. Do I look good it's today? Day. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, bro, that show, that show, like, like. That show that was show, a fucking fever dream, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> like, that show was selling sex. Did you, bro. what? Yes, fucking. How? Dream. That theme song is so. That's fucking, crazy to say. That's a very sexy theme song. That is a weird theme song for That's a kid a show. I'm not gonna lie. Sexy theme song. Did you watch the uh, the iCarly movie that came out some months ago? It was on um. I I didn't watch it. It was on Paramount Plus, <laughs> but they came out with the iCarly movie. It was basically Logan and Quinn got married. And like the Zay One Hundred One movie. Yeah, and so they all you came said back. Carly. I did. Yeah. But I said Zoe 101, bro. Yeah, I swear to God, you bro, I swear you know, I said Zoe. Bro, I swear I said Zoe 101. You want to rewind it? No, I know what I said. <laughs> bro, I said Zoe 101, bro. The first time I might have said I called it the second time, but the first time I act when I asked twice. you, no, I didn't, bro. I said, did you watch the Zoe?
<laughs> and we're back. Yeah, Tammy was wrong. Whatever, yo. Uh, anyways, the Zoe went on one movie. Logan and Quinn got married, and they brought, like, everybody back. I didn't watch it, but I heard it was ass. So Who's Logan and Quinn? On the show? Is that Zoe? No. Uh, Zoe's name is Zoe in the show. Do Zoe and Chase get together? Uh, So, apparently, they were, like, at the end of Zoe 101, they were together, and I guess they were together for some years after that, but they ended up breaking up. I guess they got together in the movie. I don't know for sure, but mm, that's what happened, basically. Damn. Free Debbie Lynn Spears or not. <laughs> Is she in jail? Nah, you hear that story? Uh, I don't know. They either her, Britney Spears, or Justin, or fucking Jamie Lynn was telling about Justin Timberlake. Yeah, I know what the fuck you're... No, it was an excerpt from uh, Britney Spears' book. Okay, for shizzle, my name. For shizzle, for shiz, or something like that. For shiz, for shiz. <laughs> yeah, with Honestly, I can see early 2000s. And... I can see early 2000s Justin Timberlake saying, for shiz, for shiz. That's why I know he pulled her shirt off on purpose. That sentence right there. Faux oh, you talking about uh, Janet Jackson? Yes. On purpose? On purpose. I don't think he did it on purpose. Corpus. I remember, you know what's crazy? I And it's what's very crazy? faint. Taylor, tell me what's crazy. Anyways, it's very faint memory. But I have a faint memory of watching the 2004 Super Bowl halftime show and that happening. And my mom, like, turning the channel. <laughs> and me and my sister were like, what just happened? I feel like I have that memory also, but I can't tell you if that's a real memory or not that I have. A real memory? I remember it. Because, like, who was at that Super Bowl? You mean, like... Who played? I don't know the team that played. But, I mean, who... But, I mean, I wouldn't know that anyway. Sure. So. Okay. What the, I don't understand what you... I don't understand. I just don't fucking trust you, Taylor. You don't trust me? Uh-uh. Oh, we can end this right now, bro. Like, yeah, all right. I don't trust you as far as I can throw. All right. Thanks, thanks everybody. Far. It's been the Listener Don't Podcast. Uh, I guess we'll just be solo from now on. On me. I on me. You, you listen to listen or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen to listen. Don't... Obviously, don't for a reason. Words have meaning, so... <laughs> 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 you know? No, I don't know. <laughs> God damn it, one day, bro, one day, I'm going to fucking blow this motherfucker up. Oh, yeah, it's I your place. I swear to God, I'm going to blow do. this motherfucker up, it's bro. It's your place. Do what you got to do. I'm, I'm, both of us. No, you ain't going to blow me up. On me. I'm going to have a bomb on my house <laughs> and your house. <laughs> you don't know where I live. Yes, I do. Oh, speaking of living, I'm getting ready to move. That's why I had messaged you the other day and was like, can I use you as a reference? Well, use me for a reference. Because I needed a reference. Turns, I didn't end up using you, though. Why? I used my mom and I used Make Trey. Nice. Because I didn't know. You don't like you don't be answering your phone and shit. You don't. How do, how do we communicate? Mail. Mail? <laughs> don't lie. Bird. I don't want these niggas to know how to reach me, bro. Well, we, we don't communicate through... Phone, so telepathically. Okay, that's yeah. not why I didn't use it. I just uh, actually I, now that I think about, it, I don't think I ever. I need. To, I use my mom for sure because I know that she's got my back for sure. And I think I either use Trey or somebody else, but it was either Trey or my sister. But hey, look at this nigga. <laughs> you think he about to get me? Motherfucker. Hello. But yeah, so I'm getting ready to move in a couple months. Same spot? <laughs> Find a new spot? Mom Mill. Well, North Little Rock, but Mom Mill. Damn, you love Mom Mill, don't you? What is it, Mom Mill? Lo- I don't love Mom Mill. I love, I don't want to say love. I like the apartment complex that I'm moving to. What is there in Mom Mill? Is there any good food? No, uh, that's honestly the biggest downside. You want to get some lunch after this pot? Can't. What? Lunch? It's 3 o'clock. So? <laughs> it's way past lunchtime. 
Taylor's so fucking fake, bro. I I'm fake? Well, how am I bro. fake? Bro, you never want to eat a food with me, bro. And that's all. When have you offered to eat food with me? Ever? Now. I can't, bro. Like, are you know, on these days, it, when I come over here after I leave, I have to go where? To my mill. Yeah, you, Taylor makes me feel like chopped cheese or chopped <laughs> chop liver. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> chopped cheese? <laughs> chopped cheese to you. Bro, we were gonna go get the shit last weekend, but it snowed. I'm off this weekend. You wanna get lunch? I do wanna get lunch, Taylor. Do you have to work tomorrow? Uh, no. I, yo, my birthday is Wednesday. I know. I forgot about that. You forgot about your birthday, <laughs> man? Yeah. I have to work Wednesday, but it, or, do you work tomorrow? Yeah. Like, all day? Mm-hmm. I'm a working man. Okay, whatever. I'm also a working man. Oh, wow. <laughs> What are you doing Friday? Uh, I'm off in the morning. Like, what time do you go in? Uh, I think three. You want to get lunch on Friday? Sure, sure, sure. I'll treat you a little after birthday lunch. Oh, yeah, a little advance for you. I don't need that. It's cool. Sacrifice a goat. Do you drink coffee? Hell yeah. Like hot coffee or iced coffee or both? I drink both. Have you uh, heard of this new place called Scooters? 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 Nah, bro. I've never been to any place. Well, I don't know if they have one here in um, Little Rock, but they built one in my mill. And it's actually pretty fucking good. Scooter. And I don't really drink. I don't drink hot coffee. I only drink um, iced coffee. But why don't you drink hot coffee? You scared? You scared of burning your mouth? No, I just don't like it. Child. I'm a child. I don't like it. What has nothing to do with anything? Mm -hmm. Do you like? Twenty five years since my name is video premiere. (laughs) Slam shady. Do you like hot chocolate? Yeah. I do. I've never, and I was supposed to binge try it. I've never had uh, hot chocolate with milk. I've only ever had it with hot water. <laughs> yeah. And so, but the idea, because, like, I mean, you can make it at home. But I was like, the idea that I have to, like, boil or at least slow or steam, like, milk, it just makes me feel like it's not going to be good anymore. Like, I've never boiled milk before, but it doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like it's going to be good after I boil it. Okay. I will vanilla nutmeg to it. I don't have that. I just got the fucking cocoa powder and some milk. That's all I got. I ain't got no nutmeg or vanilla. My bad. I was just trying to open your eyes to some new things. I mean, I, you can open my eyes. I just don't have that stuff in my home. So you can go and get it. It's not worth it. For one cup of hot cocoa, it's not worth it. I mean, you use vanilla for plenty of things. I don't cook. Uh, you mm-hmm. just, like, order food? Uh, Or, like, buy stuff when I go to the store and, like, make it quick whenever I get ready to go to work. Like what? Fried rice. Uh, you make some good fried rice? Uh, I don't make it. I just, like, put it in the microwave. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cook. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I actually, like, applied myself, I probably could and everything. But I just don't have the time. What's the most basic thing you know how to to cook? Um, noodles. Noodles. Boil them. Add some little whatever you want to add to it. Garnish. Whatever seasonings you want to add to it if you don't like the stuff that come with it. So that's probably the basic stuff. I fucking love nuds. Love what? Nuds. Nuds. 
Yeah, that's what we call it. Nuds. N U U D S. Bro, over here looking at dog pictures and shit. I thought you were going to get you a pet. You plan on getting one for this apartment? Why not? I decided against it. Why? I'm never I'm never home. I'm not gonna be able to spend time with it. You get your tit tat. Well <laughs> tit tat. Charlie, no, I don't wanna play Ooh. with you, you dick. He said let me the fuck alone. You said you were playing all day. Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> nah, I need to find a little string. People have been asking about our podcast at work. I've been sending people the link. I've been like, "Yo, check it out." Check I don't it. know if they, I don't know if they actually fucking listen. If you work at Mims and you listen to this podcast, don't be a fucking snitch, okay? I mean, bro, this is for the real, real only. As a matter of fact, stop listening. Yeah, <laughs> he's sick of you. <laughs> Charlie think he's this is actually probably a bad habit to teach him. Let me go for it. Damn. Recording this shit now. We're watching Charlie fuck it up. <laughs> oh. He said, oh my goodness. He's sick of this shit. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so hard living this. All right. Ooh, wee. I just got us some new food. Oh, really? I mean, I got tired of hearing him crunch on that cheap shit. <laughs> <laughs> you had to level up for him? I had to level him up. I love mm-hmm. my real nigga. He's snapping to you, so like... <laughs> I mean, you don't get him the... Um, does, he, does he do like hard cat food or wet cat food? Hard. You don't like. You don't want to let him try wet cat food? Um, I, I should get him more wet cat food, but you with cats, and especially I think with boy cats, if you have wet food all the time, you're like a UTI. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Mm. This is just me and Charlie around these parts. I think he'd kill somebody for me. Maybe. If you died, he would probably eat your body. I would hope. And I would do the same if he died. Oh. So, yeah. You eat the cat? Fuck yeah, I'd eat Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> He'd eat me? We yeah, were, but... But we had this conversation and we were like... He was like, bro, you if you him? die or something, fucking OD on the couch... Like, I'm get your body, and I was like, Charlie. Speaking speaking of drugs, well, actually, I'll ask you off mic. Oh, to me, Taylor's trying to buy some fucking meth from me, M- bro. She never, said she likes to r- never in a million years <laughs> will I need to do meth amphetamines. Meth and mims, that's what she meth said. And mims. Meth and mims. Meth mims. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> meth and mims. If I made that the title of this episode, I get fired. <laughs> meth they call mims. me into the office, and be like, Taylor, we saw. We saw something on that was a uh, quite disturbing. Method Mims will Meth- get you fired. Method Mims, yep. Method Mims is hilarious. Nope. M and M's. M and M's. Method Mims. The. All right. Uh, any specific topics you want to get into? Not unless the Oscars drop. Those Did honestly the happen already. Mm-mm. They are. I mean, they dropped the nominations weeks ago, but they are not until. February something. I won't. I won't be able to watch. I'll be at work, but I will be able to watch the Oscars. I'm not watching the Grammys because they fucking snubbed me. They snubbed you. What? Yeah. What uh, album did they snub you on? Well, okay, y'all. I don't want y'all to like look at me like I'm crazy, but <laughs> I did work on the Love album. Bro, get the <laughs> fuck, bro. Did you see? Um, did he say? Did he say he's not going? Yeah, yeah. I know. That's why I'm like pissed. Because I was gonna get a Grammy, we were me. Still, well, I doubt he's gonna win, but he can still win. Worked really hard on the love dog. All right, y'all Sean, bro, get out of (laughs) here, fucking Sean, get out of (laughs) here. That's nuts. No, um, I don't think he's gonna win that category anyway. But he said he's not going, obviously due to all the shit that that's going on with his name and shit lately. Uh, I think Oscar nominations drop tomorrow. Yeah. So maybe next time we can discuss them. Now, I'm pretty sure the same people that are going to be nominated for the Oscars are the same fucking people that were nominated for the fucking Golden Globes. Yeah, I think it was, I thought that was how it's supposed to work. I mean, that's Golden how award Globes, season goes. The Academy Award. Which one's the Academies? The Oscars. 
Why are they called the Oscars and not the... Why are they called the Oscars? Well, they, I mean, they go back and forth between calling them the Academy. It's the Academy Awards, but it's the... Like, the name of the award is the Oscars. The Academy... Whoever's in the Academy votes on who they want to win the Oscar. It's the Academy... They, they switch back and forth. And Golden Globes... Academy and Awards... And TV shows. Yeah. And Emmys is just TV shows. So which and Emmys... Did you watch the Emmys? It was Monday... Last Monday, I think. I don't think so. Fucking, um, do you watch Abbott Elementary? Yeah. Quinta Brunson won for Abbott Elementary. Uh, shout out Quinta. Uh, Niecy Nash won for that fucking Jeffrey Dahmer fucking shit on Netflix. Niecy Nash, like the lady from Basketball Wives? No, what the fuck? No. <laughs> Is that not- don't ever fucking, n- no. No, that's DD Leaks. <laughs> she, not even Nene Leaks. Nene Leaks is from uh, The Real Housewives, not yeah, basketball. Not, not about Nene Leaks. No, fucking Niecy Nash, dude. Uh, you you got to Google a pic, Google a picture of Niecy Nash. You've seen her some shit. <laughs> fucking Nene Leaks. This nigga. <laughs> Niecy Nash? No, bro. Here, let me type it. That's not how you spell it. Here, right here, right here, right here. See, bro? You said I can't spell. You're still wrong, but... Oh! Yeah, Niecy oh, Nash. You said the lady from... Uh... Bro, what are you about to oh, say? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. no Reno 911. <laughs> the, fact that renovation. That, the fact that that's where you know her from is hilarious. Yeah. But okay, hey, wherever you know her from, that's the renovation know. show. What the fuck do you know her from, Taylor? Uh, not that shit. What the what 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 what? Not that shit. I never watched Reno Nine One One. What the home renovation show? Home renovation? Yeah, but what other thing do you know? Bro, Niecy she was Nash not in no from. fuck. What home renovation show was Niecy Nash? In? Bro, you're fucking. Let me no. Well, you're tripping. Right Let's now. look at her fucking I, filmography. Because like you're. No, not like, that shit. I'm actually, but you're tweaking. Something's wrong with you. Let's see. Niecy Nash. I never watched Reno 911. Right. She was in Scream. Malibu's Queens. Most Wanted. Codename the Cleaner. I used to fucking love that. I was Soul Man. She wasn't Soul Man. I wasn't either. But I'm telling you, like, she was in Reno 911. I know. I'm I saying I never so watched Reno 911. I know she was in it. Or well, she does stand up. Uh, no, she doesn't. She's not a comedian. She's uh-huh. just a comedic actress. She doesn't do stand up. Let's see. You don't know anything. I don't trust you anymore. Dog, she don't do stand up. If she, if she got stand up, you gotta let me crack you. I wish you would, nigga. She don't do no fucking stand up. She also was in this show called Claws that I used to watch. Claws was fucking. Oh, yeah, good. I heard Claws was pretty good. Yeah, she was on a clean house for seven years. She got a daytime Emmy award. Hell yeah, off that shit. I like how they have two different Emmys. They have the primetime Emmys and the daytime Emmys. Primetime. Do you watch The Bear on Hulu? Yeah, I've seen it. The uh, girl from The Bear won in Emmy. Iowa Debery. Oh, yeah. She won. I actually really like her. She was in Bottoms. She's fucking funny. Iowa Debery? Um, I don't know who else won an Emmy, so I, I can't really tell you. Those are the only three I knew. Yeah. Do you know who Storm Reed is? Storm Reed from X-Men? No, what the fuck? <laughs> Steven, what the fuck, bro? No. <laughs> Anyways, it's okay. You don't know who she is, so I'm not going to talk about it. But, um, yeah. Wasn't really much going on at the Emmys this year. Is that the shit that had Jim Gaffigan? Who hosts the Emmys? I love Jeff Ant- No, uh, no, he hosted the Golden Globes. Anthony Anderson hosted the Emmys this year. Oh, yeah, where were they? I didn't watch them. I was at work. I only saw what, clips. What did Twitter say? Uh, I don't know. I didn't really see much of any. I didn't really see much of Anthony Anderson. People would, dog. What are you drawing? <laughs> what the fuck is? Steven, what the fuck, bro? Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> we're done. We're done. What? No, there's nothing else to talk about. Here. No, what the fuck, bro? What is this? It's a spaceship. This ain't no fucking spaceship, dude. Come on. High school rocks. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> Anything else you want to get into? I don't think so. Any pressing matters? I think um, once we get a little closer to the Super Bowl, we can talk about whatever the fuck Usher's going to... We can talk about what we think Usher's set list is going to be. And I think we should have... Yes or no, he does Confessions Part 2 at the Super Bowl. He should do Confessions Part 1, 2, 3, and put out a fourth. There's no... Anyways, we'll talk about that, but... uh. Anyways, there... <laughs> what? Yeah, Give this is, been, no, we're done, yeah. no, no, fuck no, <laughs> this has been Listener Dope, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for fucking listening, like and subscribe if you're on YouTube, follow us if you're on SoundCloud or Spotify, we'll be back. And better than ever, because we'll have video hopefully better. We shall see, but uh, yeah, so, like I said, listen, we're dope. Yeah.